Hello Tribal Makers, my name is Michal Malev and welcome to my channel. I believe that everyone deserves to have a happy, healthy life and the best way to achieve both of these goals is through moving what Mother Nature gave us our bodies. Now in today's Tuesday combo, we're going to learn a beginner's level, a basic combination. It's a practice combination, four sentences, 32 counts. It's a fun follow along dance tutorial. Come and play with me, learn some new skills, polish your previous ones. And before we begin, I would like to thank all of my subscribers for subscribing. Thank you so much, you guys. We've gone over 100, which is amazing. Thank you. If you're new to my channel, this is the time to press the subscribe button or maybe give me a quick thumbs up. Before we begin, make sure you're warmed up, you have a glass of water nearby, and let's begin with the practice. We begin the first sentence at the basic dance posture, so our feet are parallel to each other, hip distance apart, free the knees, relax them, bend them. Make sure you're activating your core muscles here by pulling your navel to spine, actively protecting your lumbar spine. And now we're going to add this passive protection of the small tilt in the pelvis. This way we're protecting this whole area. Now that we have our base, we can start to grow up. Elongate your spine, roll the shoulders backwards, open your chest, take chin tucked in a little bit so the neck is long. And now we're going to take our arms and put them down because for the first four counts, we're going to raise them up on one, two, three, four. Beautiful. Now make sure when you're raising your arms up that you're not taking them 180 degrees. You're not pulling them completely to the side here. A, if you're dancing next to somebody, you're going to smack them when you're lifting your arms up because you can't see your hands. And also, the moment you're taking them slightly to the front here, you're removing some of the tension on the shoulders when you're raising your arms up. So again, just the arms. We have one, two, three, four. On the count of five, six, seven, eight, we're going to cross our arm in front of us, taking them down on two counts on five, six, and open our arms to the side on seven, eight. So just the arms, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Good, now we're going to add our hips. We're going to slide our hips to one side on four counts. So we have, we'll take our hands to the side, just the hips here, we're sliding to one side and let's slide to the other side. Now, as you can see, I bend and straighten my knees when I'm sliding. So I'm, when I'm sliding to one direction, the knee on the leg that the weight is actually on as well is straight. I don't lock it, but I'm straightening it a little bit and the other knee is bending more. So I can keep this movement parallel to the floor. And the slide needs to be comfortable. If it's not comfortable, do something else you don't have to. You can just raise your arms while you're standing in the basic dance posture. So let's do the whole thing with the hands. We have one, two, three, four. So I create this beautiful shape here. On the five, six, seven, eight, I'm going to do a hip circle while I'm taking my arms down. So I'm taking my hips to the front, bending both my knees to the side. So one knee is straight, the other one is bent, and I'm taking my hips to the back, straightening both of my knees, getting this very lovely stretch to the hamstring because I'm to my lower back here and back to where I started from. Now, if making this hip circle is a little bit difficult, again, you can just do the back hip circle. You can just stay in place as well. You don't have to do anything that doesn't feel comfortable. Always listen to your body, especially for beginners. It takes time until the brain figures out what it needs to do, until the muscles get the memory they need to perform those movements naturally. It takes time. Give yourself time to learn the movement. And the whole magic of it is just practice. So if it doesn't work today, maybe it will work tomorrow. If not tomorrow, maybe it will work in a week or maybe in a year. We all are in different levels. Levels and we all have different pace when we're learning things so give yourself the time to learn now again just the hip circle we're taking our hips to the front and to the back good let's do it to the other side so we're sliding to the other side here and to the front and to the back when you're taking your hips forward and you're taking your whole body here forward activate your core muscles work with your pelvic floor here and relax them when you're going back so I actually use my breath when I'm doing hip circles a lot of times. So when I'm taking it to the front, I exhale and then inhale when I'm taking my hips to the back. So let's layer the hip circles with the arms. So the arms are up 
And from here, we're doing the hip circles. So we're slightly sliding also to the side. And we have one, two, three, four. Good, let's do the same thing to the other side. We have one, two, three, four. We actually have five, six, seven, eight. Beautiful, let's do the whole sentence to both sides. So we'll start with this one. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Good, and let's do the same thing to the other side. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Beautiful, let's continue. On the next sentence, we continue with half hip circles to the front. So we finish the movement to one side and we're taking our hips to the front on one, two. Beautiful. On three, four, we're going to do a twist. So we're doing three, four. Pay attention, when you're taking your hips in the half hip circle to the front, you're actually going to feel that your hip is leaning a little bit to the back here, which makes complete sense because basically what we did before, we continued the movement to the back. So we're leaning a little bit back. From here, we're going to push our hip forward and back. Imagine that there is a string that is pulling your hip forward and releasing it back on three, four. On the five, six, seven, eight, we're going back with a hip circle on five, six, and seven, eight. Again, we're doing this twist, twist, twist. So again, we start with this side. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's do it to the other side. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now, again, if you're feeling uncomfortable with doing the um, half hip circle to the front, you can do it to the back, actually, if you're feeling more comfortable taking your hip back and then it's back, front, and back, back, front. So instead of front, back, like we're doing when we're doing it to the front, when we're taking it, the half hip circle to the front, we're doing one, two, so front, back. If you're doing it to the back, you're doing back and front. Got it? Good. If this still doesn't feel comfortable, you can just do a hip slide. You can just stand and play with your arms, you know, move your hands in the hip slide from one side to the other. Really do what feels comfortable at this moment with time and with practice, you'll get there. So let's do the whole combination from the beginning. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Good, let's do it to the other side. So we're sliding in that direction. We have, put your arms down. There's no need to, to add this. I'm adding this because it's the first movement I'm doing, but basically in the combination, we're finishing with our arms down. So let's do it the way that it's supposed to be. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Good, let's continue. For the next eight counts, we're going to do some hip slide from one side to the other on eight counts. This is a fun stretch to the side. Make sure you are not overdoing it, that you're allowing the knees the freedom to do what they need to do to bend and straighten alternatively and really enjoy this movement. Put a smile on your face. This is the fun part of the combination. Now, on top of this, we're going to add our arms. So let's do just the arms. We're taking them down on the count of one. On two, three, four, we're raising our arms up to the front, and on the five, six, seven, eight, we're allowing them to go down to the side. So again, just the arm, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And let's add our hips into it. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And I think we started to that direction. So let's start to the other side this time. And we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Good. Now let's do the whole combination from the beginning. I'm fixing my top a little bit here because apparently it's not that good for arm work, but we'll do with it. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Good, now let's do the same thing to the other side. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Beautiful, let's continue. 
For the last eight counts, we're going to go into shimmy. So we're going to bend and straighten our knees alternatively. Shimmy is a movement that is generated through the knees. The faster you go, the faster the shimmy. Also, we're in basic dance posture. Pay attention that you're not allowing your back to overarch here or maybe to go too deep in. We all have different ways that we compensate when we start doing faster movements. So make sure that you're protecting your lower back. And pay attention to where you are when you're bending your knees. The lower you go, the bigger the shimmy will be because you have more space to play with your knees. If you're slightly striking it, the shimmy will go upwards into your, even to your belly. Now do what feels good to you, what looks better on your body. So again, we're starting with bending and straightening our knees alternatively, slowly picking up the pace and the movement will go up into our hips. So this is what we're going to do in eight counts. We're taking our arms down on one, two, three, four, and we're staying here for the five, six, seven, eight, and that's it, we've finished the combo. So let's do the whole combination from the beginning. Basic dance posture, long back, smile on your face. The air comes in and out easier when you're smiling. So let's start by taking our arms up. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now, I accidentally started layering my shimmy. Do what feels comfortable at this moment. If you want to add a little bit of shoulders with the music, maybe just a little bit of breath with your hips, moving them from one side to the other, do what feels comfortable at this moment. So let's do the same thing to the other side. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And shimmy, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Beautiful. Now let's play with the music. We begin with a basic dance posture, so make sure that the feet are parallel, get distance apart, free the knees, bend them. Give them the freedom to do what they need to do. Make sure that the sacrum is pointing downward, that you've activated your abdominal muscle. Elongate the spine, smile, and the arms going down, and we begin with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and slide, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and shimmy, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and slap, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and shimmy, breathe, and enjoy it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two. Strong eyes and a smile. That's all that you need to make the dance really special. Shimmy. Up, down, and hip. Front. Slide, shimmy, and up. Great job, everyone. I hope you enjoyed the practice. If you did, give me a quick thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I upload new Tuesday combo every Tuesday, so you're more than welcome to check out the previous tutorial. You know, mix and match them, create your own dances with it. That's it for today. I'll see you next week. And remember, life is too short, so enjoy it. Bye.